Welcome to Clinical Cousins YouTube channel. This video is going to be on Monopiravir. Monopiravir is an antiviral, an oral antiviral uh, developed by Merck that has been recently released. It's an oral medication that's a synthetic nucleoside. What is a synthetic nucleoside? The synthetic nucleoside is a drug that mimics the nitrogenous bases that are used as the building blocks of RNA. So how does that affect a uh, virus being replicated? Well, to understand that, we first have to understand a little bit of what viruses do. So here I've drawn the COVID-19 virus. It's docked in here to this ACE2 site, which is where it likes to interact. It's also why we get the complications because not all cells have ACE2 sites on them. So just the target cells for this have ACE2 sites, which are neural epithelial cells, loss of smell and taste, intestinal cells, diarrhea, and some of your pneumocyte cells, which is why you get troubles and complications with breathing, uh, or pulmonary complications. So as it attaches to this cell, it releases a blueprint and hijacks the mechanisms inside the cell so that it can replicate or build itself. So it gives a blueprint and says, this is how you build my RNA. This is how you build me as a virus. And it uses combinations of these nitrogenous bases to do that. Well, these antivirals come in in, in the fact that they look like these nitrogenous bases, but they're not. So they're like bad building materials. So when they replace the uracil or cytosine in this construction of the viral RNA, they render the virus useless. They, it's destroying the virus. So just like if we were constructing a home and we had a manufacturing center where it were to be built and we had the blueprints of how to build the home and we were like, if we put, a, put the wood here or the concrete here, or the rhubarb here, this is how we construct a home. And we had that, but somebody sold us bad supplies and we tried to build that house with lumber that let's say looked great on the outside, but on the inside had termite damage. When the house was put on any type of stress, it would collapse. That's much in the same way as how these antivirals, they disrupt the process of building or constructing these viruses. And in that they lead to the viruses uh, uh, being rendered useless and destroyed. Now, viruses are clever. They have things that are proofreaders made up of this uh, compound here. So these proofreaders go around and if they notice anything is wrong with, let's say this is GAU, they say, oh, that's not right. They would cut that out there and make it be correct. Or if they notice some of the building supplies weren't right, they would uh, pull those out and have them replaced with the right ones. So these, these guys act as like inspectors. They go around inspecting the materials, inspecting the building process to make sure things are going to plan. So not only do these antivirals have to trick the machinery and the construction workers in, in, inside the cell to have them put it together thinking they're using nitrogenous bases, they also have to get by this proofreader in order to work. And that's why these drugs can be difficult to develop because maybe they work here, but the proofreader ends up seeing them as not part of the, of the building project and terminating them. So that's how antivirals work. This can be an issue with antivirals, but according to the, the research we're seeing now, it looks like this drug, this antiviral, has a good job of missing the proofreader more than remdesivir did. It also, it, it mimics uracil and cytosine, whereas remdesivir only mimics one of those. So in that way, it seems to be having more success than remdesivir. Uh, we'll still have to wait to see what the FDA and everyone's ruling is on that. But that's how antivirals work. Another side note is this drug's name was actually came from Mjolnir, which was Thor's hammer in Norse mythology. So they added that name to it uh, to make it sound similar because just like Thor's hammer would go and strike down his enemies, they were hoping that this drug would go down and strike down viruses. At the time in the development, they thought that would be for influenza. Turns out it worked a little better for the coronavirus. So that's our video on antivirals. I hope you liked the video. If you did, you can like and subscribe. We're going to have some uh, pharmacology videos on antivirals coming up as well. If you would, we'll put a link uh, here as soon as we get that.